Well, after having to put parts and pieces back together of my PC, I've finally been able to edit a video together for everyone to watch. Assassin's Creed Shadows Ubisoft has put out a statement over the reaction that we are seeing out of Japan for this up and coming game. You don't see companies doing this. You don't see companies turn around making a full statement on the controversies that are surrounding a game months before they even get released. I think the petition had a little bit to do with that. Now, the statement reads, uh, to our esteemed Japanese community, a message from the Assassin's Creed Shadows development team. First, I want to express our heartfelt thanks for all the, your support for almost the 20 years. Over this time, we explored various settings, time periods, and characters from the Assassin's during the Third Crusade of Viking in 9th century England and countless more. Many of our team created a Assassin's Creed game set in feudal Japan has been long cherished dream. Since the announcement of Assassin's Creed Shadows, we have received many positive reactions, but also some criticism, including from you, our Japanese players. We share our passion for history and deeply respect your care for the historical and cultural integrity of your rich heritage. We would like to address a few points to clarify the intentions on creative decisions. Overall authenticity efforts. We have put significant effort into assuring uh, an immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. If that was the case, you would have made the game about feudal Japanese warriors and samurai instead of injecting a half truth over the game. Instead of having the their historical accuracy people being the ones that had originally written this from everything i'm seeing that it seems thomas locky which is the writer of the original book about yasuke might have been on staff however our intentions has been to present any of our assassin's creed games including assassin's creed shadows as factual representations of history or historical characters instead we aim to spark curiosity and encourage players to explore and learn more about historical settings we get inspired by assassin's creed shadow is first and foremost designed to be entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal japan which means they're making it for modern audiences at this point and putting in every, in every single check mark that they could think about for the game. Our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan to inform our creative choices. And if you followed that line down, they have political ties to China. They have uh, a disrespect for the Japanese culture of this game. Despite these sustained efforts, we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional material have caused concern with the Japanese community. For this, we sincerely apologize. And they are talking about how they have lifted and stolen many things off Amazon. They've taken from this re recreation group who had their own banner that got lifted and put into the game. They've taken clips from many different sources and put them into this game and said, this is, we're yeah, we're telling you a a situation or something with the game is going to be the way it is, but it's not what it is. Based on cultural criticism we have received, we uh, will continue our efforts until we put this game into your hands and beyond. We would also like to clarify that while we have been consulting with many people throughout the development process, they are in no way responsible for the decisions uh, are taken by the creative teams in the interest of gameplay and entertainment. Consequently, we respectively request that any criticism not be directed to our collaborators, both internal and external. I wonder who those collaborators are, because at this point, Ubisoft, I, I did a video about this, Ubisoft is in bed with Sweet Baby Inc. If not, they were the ones that initially helped them grow from the fledgling status to where they are today. A consultant com company that goes around from game to game to game to game that sits there and becomes sensitivity readers and ties, tries to tell people that we can't add these certain things into the game because it will be insensitive. Well, if that was the case, maybe they would have done their job. Creative liberties and historical inspirations. While we strive to authentically in everything that we do, Assassin's Creed games are works of fiction inspired by real historical events and 
figures. From its inception, the series has taken creative license and incorporated fantasy elements to craft engaging and immersive experiences, much like what we see with Indiana Jones, the original. It, But they stuck true to the cultures that we see in the game, and yes, they bring in a little bit of a supernatural nature, a what-if scenario. This went far beyond that. They, they've never done an Assassin's Creed in Japan, and instead of making a, about Japanese culture and Japanese, the, the many stories that you could have done, they picked out the one interesting story that they think is interesting and put it out there for everyone to see, where the one story that Yusuke uh, is a African slave that gets traded and then becomes something more of it of himself. There's many different stories like that, and you could have easily told a Japanese culture story in that sense, and still kept the supernatural or kept the kept the creative liberties at that point. It was the fact that they turned around and said that this one point in history was so well documented, it's not uh, that they need to tell that story. Fantasy at this point. For someone in the room to say, hey, listen, I have, I fantasize that this is something that that really did happen. And I really want to tell this story of Yasuke uh, growing up as a slave and being someone completely different in feudal Japan. We don't need to tell the stories of the, the peasant that became the hero that grew up and suddenly became the hero samurai that he wanted to be. Every story we get out of Japan is something different where it's someone that not part of their culture. Yusuke, a, someone that was made up pretty much in 2014, pushed forward as a uh, samurai. And everything's out to lunch on it. Everything is not as it seems. And when it comes to Assassin's Creed Shadows, the, the underlying law at this point and the underlying rules it's starting to become an international incident between Canada and Japan because Ubisoft is you the the game was developed in Canada and the liberties of that is being retold in a, in a Japanese culture that isn't surrounding it properly. So honestly, I think the game is still probably going to do what quite well because it's Assassin's Creed, uh, the IP itself sells very well. But this is one where I think they've treaded too far into the uh, diversity inclusion uh, equity scenario, the DEI scenario for a video game. And just trying to pull the wool over people's eyes, pull the wool over shareholders' eyes, and pull the wool over the Japanese people's eyes, which is absolutely unfortunate that it does come down to this path. While Yosuke is depicted as a samurai in Assassin's Creed, we acknowledge that the matter of debate and discussion, we've woven this carefully into our narrative and with other lead characters, the Japanese uh, shinobi no, who is equally important in the game, our dual protagonists provide players with different game styles. We greatly value the feedback and encourage you to continue sharing your thoughts respectively. While we understand that meeting everyone's expectations is very difficult, we sincerely hope that the Assassin's Creed Shadows launch on November 15th, players in Japan and around the world will appreciate the dedication and effort and the passion we have poured into it. That's from the development team. This is this is not something that I think uh, they they opened. Uh, they opened a can of worms, and that can of worms, it's a whole scenario that we have a petition now reaching a hundred thousand uh, people signing this in Japan, saying you need to stop releasing this game because it's a disrespect of the Japanese culture and is not true to its form. So yes, meanwhile the game. It does take its liberties. It does do what it wants to do as a Assassin's Creed game. But a lot of people are pissed off about this. I know, I know some Japanese YouTubers are also speaking about this. And it, it's a cultural shift in the matter and a disrespect to the uh, to the Japanese culture. Uh, unfortunately, that's what I am seeing. Now, it really is unfortunate that Ubisoft has taken the liberties they did. A lot of people want a Japanese feudal Japan video game for Assassin's Creed. Everyone's wanted this for quite a while, but then they pick out a story out of a timeline where everything is just kind of made up. Uh, they, they say this is, they, they're taking the liberties to tell an interesting story 
But what's more interesting than the feudal Japan stories that we already see? The, the stories that we've seen out of, that come out of Japanese history, they're interesting already. It doesn't mean that they had to make something more. Something more for someone in some boardroom to say, this is what's going to get people going. This is what's going to get people talking. Making this a little bit of a controversial scenario of a video game. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in a shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.